Kim Kardashian secretly might be a super genius. Yeah, I, I, in I, marketing and like especially for her brand because now we're talking about her and everybody thinks she's stupid but she's just passed a baby bar exam i don't understand why people think that she's stupid i don't get that it's because, that seems to be like such a shallow mm-hmm. assessment of her as a person based off a very shallow mm-hmm. cursory glance at her reality tv mm-hmm. show well th- the reason why they think she's stupid is because how they um basically edit the whole thing they want them to seem like they're stupid it's the same thing with paris hilton like everybody thinks she's stupid but dude she's from a family that are millionaires and she has her own perfume line too Mm -hmm. especially like kim kardashian she has her own video game that you can play as a character who goes around hollywood trying to like be big in hollywood Mm -hmm. and then her own i i don't know if she still has her clothing line the one that she got um, a lot of heat for the kimonos, whatever yeah, they're called now. I saw an article about that just like a, a mm-hmm. couple of minutes ago while I was looking for it. And yeah. of course, like I had like everything set up perfectly here today. And of course, that article is just nowhere to be found on my screen. <laughs> uh, at, at mistakes as you would expect them to happen, right? Yeah, but I like, um, I actually like look up to her in marketing because like, dude, she's a mad scientist when it comes to marketing. Like, She's not wrong. Like, um, when it comes to her name, bad publicity, it's not that bad. Mm, mm-hmm. I think there is such a thing as, like, maybe there is too much bad publicity. Well, but, okay, uh, okay. The SNL skit where she talked about uh, O.J. Simpson was the first black guy she ever seen in her whole life. That was distasteful. But slightly still. distasteful. Mm. <laughs> so it says, uh, <laughs> this article, I, I grabbed the NBC News one. It okay. says, Kim Kardashian Esquire. <laughs> As of Monday, she's one step closer. The entrepreneur and Keeping Up with the Kardashian star announced on Instagram uh, that after two years of studying and three attempts at taking it, she has passed the California baby bar exam. Does anybody here know before we keep going, what the hell is the baby bar exam? There is, I believe they, you have to take three exams, right? Okay. To be a lawyer. I don't remember. I'm using my knowledge from Drop Dead Diva. I, I watched that whole season. I mean, That's I should know, but I, I want to say it has something to do with like she had to secure a actual professional lawyer as a mentor to yeah. recommend okay. her to get it or or they had to uh, agree to walk her through it or prepare for something like that. Okay. I, I could be imagine totally having wrong. to do that like on their schedule. Right. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. right here. So the baby bar is formerly known as the first year law ex- law students exam. So basically, um, the day-long test is given remotely in June or October and is required those who are studying law through apprenticeship, like how you said, Hmm. um, before, according to the State Bar of California. That was a great episode where she had Mm -hmm. to sit there in front of her computer and take the whole bar in an adult diaper. Oh, Imagine, imagine yeah. being so good at your at, at like your career that you found a way to monetize, like heavily monetize your your post secondary e- education. Yeah, mm-hmm. like you're not yeah. just like like this. Like uh, you have to be a certain level of drive to even care enough to do that when you're making that much money. So, are you right. saying that she stomped out Megan the Stallion from graduating college? Yeah, right. She, why doesn't Kim Kardashian get some type of award for for graduating from college? I know. Uh, we we did a topic yesterday where uh, the uh, this rapper got like an award just for graduating college. It was like a humanitarian yeah, award. Yeah, Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but so it wasn't. It was like it wasn't a real degree then. That no, she got? no, 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 it's, it's like a real degree in, in like uh, what was it? Hospital administration or something. No, like it's that? um. A science. So basically, she got a bachelor's degree in health administration. Hospital administration. Not hospital. That's so ridiculous. Yeah. I don't understand that. It's just like, why? Why would she do that? I don't know. Well, I, why would they give her an award? I, I'm all for her. Oh, getting so she her, got she, she got, got the degree a, and an got, award. Yeah, she yep. got the award for getting the degree, which makes no sense. No, that Bizarre. wasn't their reasoning. They just said she's an incredible person. She did a lot of help, and we checked the receipts and. I didn't see anything. Since then, I, I looked up something since then. She's mm-hmm. like going to open a bunch of, uh, she's going to open um, ex- like uh, memory care facilities. Like for, yeah, like I think I sent homes. you the. But she article. hasn't done it yet. You hmm. have to do it first before you get the humanitarian award. That is mm-hmm. bizarre. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, maybe because, um, did she graduate from TSU? It, it was Texas Southern Methodist or something like that. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Different. Um, different college i was thinking of or it could but, have been southern texas university i i don't know I don't because know. she's a 
popular celebrity and maybe that's why they're like thank no, you for graduating here that's why they gave it to me that's, well, it, but, that's what makes me think it's honorary but, instead uh, of yeah. earned no it, but the no the award had nothing to do with the college graduation the award was given after it by like a local congresswoman yeah so it's just virtue signaling it, it's just good publicity mm-hmm. oh okay. so well fair enough let's continue <laughs> all right yeah, so it's, yeah, yeah. let's go f- f- yeah i'm team k kk all the way kk not think- uh, not kathleen kennedy that's true. <laughs> Not, I'm, I'm team anti Kathleen Kennedy. But uh, it'd be funny if Kim Kardashian's middle name was a K. Let's not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't hold it in. That whole family, excluding Rob Kardashian, they all have K names. Well, that joke, we're, we're going to edit that one out. <laughs> and we're going to edit that one out. We'll, you know, I'm not the first one who thought of this. We'll <laughs> fix it in post. So it says, uh, first year law students attending a, quote, uh, degree program at the state bar, uncredited registered law school through the law school study program and those without two years of college work attending a committee of bar examiners or, or an American Bar Association accredited law school. So yeah, basically like what you said, like you have to go through this long process. It says they must pass the exam in order to be eligible to sit for the bar. The website states she wrote this long diatribe. Uh, in her lengthy post, Kim Kardashian said she failed the exam three times during the two-year journey. But I got back up each time and studied harder and, try and tr- tried and tried again until I did it. She wrote, noting that she had COVID-19 on the third attempt with 104 fever, but I'm not making excuses. See, that might be the most inspirational. And, I love um, it. That mm-hmm. might be the, if you mm-hmm. want to look at her as a mentor and people can't look f- past the fact that she had a sex tape when she was young. Uh, this that type of I actually saw that sex tape th- that, and I was disappointed. <laughs> the lighting scheme was just not up to her standards. <laughs> She's like, who was the who was the director of photography on this project? Uh, but, but it's like so, so she's not telling you to just go and take handouts she's telling you to try hard and she didn't just succeed on the first attempt she failed twice if you, and came back again and, and passed but, it on the third attempt but she's also already proven herself yep. as, mm-hmm. as a legal mind i mean she set that one woman she got that one woman in memphis tennessee freed yeah. from prison yeah she I got mean, a lot of people freed from prison by asking um nope Oh no! Nope. Well, yeah, she nope. did. She no. did. She no, did get people free from prison. I, I, I know. Yeah, I know. I know, I know what you're saying. I know. No. Um, but I mean, that's that's awesome. I yep. mean, what, what's not to admire about that? It's, it's like people can't get past the fact that like the show is kind of about nothing. It's it's like modern day Seinfeld. It's kind of like it, yeah. It's it's like uh, it is. It's it's about nothing. It, oh my it, god! Maybe on. that's why I like it so much. <laughs> but come on, her daughter Northwest got in trouble because she did a live stream on TikTok doing uh a house tour in their calabasas house how old is she i let me see wait she got in trouble for that yeah because she didn't have permission from kim kardashian to do that how how old could the kid be the kid can't be that old no but with a parent's permission but you have to be 13 years old on well no tiktok doesn't ask how old you are but most social medias um guess what most people just hit Yes, anyways, because there's nothing they <laughs> right. can really do. There was a, right. a, a really funny scene from the show House back in the day. He says, "Why do all these adult sites say that uh, say that I can't come in unless it says I'm uh, unless it says unless you are of eight, 18 years of age? Even a 17 year old could figure that out." <laughs> okay, um, so I found That's out great. right here she is eight years old. Okay, so the the eight year old, uh, yeah, the should not be live streaming. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. but you know yeah, what? Fair enough. Kids will be kids. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but her brother is six years old. I forgot she had a brother for mm. a little bit. Mm. So it says, uh, quote, in California, the way I'm studying law, you need to take two bar exams. This was just the first one, but with the uh, with the harder, but with a harder pass rate. Uh, so they're saying that this first test maybe has a harder. Uh, it's harder to get through that first one. Uh, she added, I was told by top lawyers that this was a close to impossible journey and harder than the traditional law school route, but it was my only option and it feels so, so good to be here and on my way to achieving my goals. So the way she had to do it because of her career, I'm guessing she couldn't do it through going to typical, you know, going to class every day in law school because mm-hmm. she's got a media empire to run or a yeah. business right. empire to run. Uh, the news comes out uh, over two years after Kardashian first expressed interest in pursuing law. That's impressive too, because she like it's not like this is something she hid in private. She made the uh, announcement that she wanted to do it, and then you feel obligated to like live up to what you say you want to do. Mm-hmm. And meanwhile, 
she didn't have to do this. No, nope. nope. not there was. No, I can't think of one reason why she is doing this, <laughs> aside from the fact that she really wants. I think that she needs a sense of purpose that yep. runs mm-hmm. beyond being a, a you know a reality TV celebrity. That's but that's true. but she's not just a reality TV celebrity. She's a me. She's a she's business, a mogul. She's a business mogul. <laughs> yeah. So she has to find meaning beyond. That almost makes me think like I mean she just got divorced. Mm-hmm. Like maybe like this is was it a, is the divorce. Official? I don't know if it's no, finalized. Not yet. Okay. It's not finalized. I, I was yet. gonna cover it today, but I'm like, sure. is this really like do people yeah. like we covered. Dr. Trey's divorce yesterday. I'm like, <laughs> do people really want to just get depressing news about celebrities getting right. uh, getting mm. but Come on, it's juicy. It's, yeah, I think uh, people like it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, like, uh, she's getting divorced. Like, she's got family. She's got all these obligations. She needs something else besides that to take her mind off it. And instead, you know, whereas I would just go eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream and watch television shows, you know, the uh, somebody, you know, these people who make it this big don't do this by accident. As much as people mm-hmm. want to make that uh, assumption that these people get famous for by no you know success of their own that's usually not true they have extremely high work ethics and mm-hmm. you can't you can't be dumb and make the business decisions that they've done you just right. can't that's true and that's and i hate to say that because the audience tends to be there for for the stuff that we make uh the more people are going to want to hear you talk about how stupid they are or how dumb this all is and it's mm-hmm. not really the fact if you actually look at it deeper mm-hmm. if you try to look at it from their perspective yeah yeah that's fair also, I have a question. Why is Kanye going as Yee now? I think he officially changed his name to Yee. Why? I'm not did, sure why. Why did Prince change his name to the artist formerly known as Prince? Because he can. I I feel like I missed like a whole news of this because like now they changed their Wikipedia page to say Yee, commonly known as his former name Kanye West. Wow, it's just a long way around from the artist formerly known as uh, yeah. Kanye. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think people just started calling him Yee, um, you know, informally. Yeah. I guess yeah. I guess he loved it. So it stuck and he changed it to that. Is it because he feels old because he is 44 years old and like a lot of people, I say this a lot when I respond to like you guys in text message, I always put ye. Ye. She does say ye a lot. Yeah, I say (laughs) ye instead of yes. Or okay. Yes. I just go like ye. I've always just assumed it's because you're a rabid Kanye West fan. No. It's like she's, she's really not. representing. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm wearing my Yeezys and everything. She, she was a secret member of the Donda Boys here. Oh, yeah. So it says. I like uh, the Drake album more. Well, at least you're wrong with conviction. Oh. <laughs> it says, uh, I've seen some comments from people. This was uh, the other part I thought was really interesting. It says, mm-hmm. I've seen some comments from people who are saying it's my privilege or my money that got me here, but that's not the case. She wrote in a 2019 Instagram post, which accompanied a photo of her studying alongside her attorney mentors, Jessica Jackson and Aaron Haney, to whom she introduced by CNN cam- commentator Van Jones. So it's like, yeah, she can have all the money in the world. It doesn't mean she's going to pass the test. I mean, theoretically, you could make, like, a conspiracy theory that she could, like, pay to have the test taken for her. But with no evidence of that, I say, why don't you just take the more uh, an uplifting version of this, which is that she just studied really hard, was really passionate about what she was doing, and got a chance to make something more of herself than she already was, which is already pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's a couple of things here, like... I, I mean, how could her money and privilege and status not help her? Obviously, it helped not her. Not that it didn't help, but right. she still has to put in the work. But at the same time, she has been putting in the work. Yeah. I mean, she could just be a, a rich, worthless, useless person. Yeah. She That's could be, true. but she's not. I mean, mm-hmm. she's a very hard worker. I mean, mm-hmm. could you imagine the work that it would take? I mean, literally, yeah. to be at the, the essentially the star of a reality TV show for what, like two decades? And yeah. also... Like, that's exhausting. Doesn't she do, like... um. Doesn't she do like brand ambassador things too? Probably, like, yeah. For her sister's makeup company, because Kylie has her own like makeup, mm-hmm. um, makeup line. So, do you think she like does that? Because I remember when um, North was like still like I think a toddler. Um, Kim Kardashian was like trying to put on makeup, and she was doing a live stream. And then North came in and said, I "Mommy, that. yeah, mommy," and she's like, "Sweetie." I'm doing work right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's hey, part of her job. God yeah. bless her. Good She's for her. putting on her work outfit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I choose to take the approach that uh, as much as I want to give crap to celebrities and that I do think there's a certain amount of disposability and uh, like how important is the are the Kardashians really? I can still be very, very impressed by somebody when they, when they manage to accomplish something that deserves to be praised. Mm-hmm. Right on. Same here. Yep. So uh, I, I don't know. Uh, think should we? Somebody should get hire her as a lawyer. <laughs> oh, that'd be oh, really they will. cool. They will. But do you, 
I know how you guys were talking about like her money and her fame could get her somewhere, but wouldn't it be funny if somebody in that law firm did not know who she was and they're like, <laughs> and, and it's like legally blonde and it's like legally blonde. They're like that pretty girl. I don't like you, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be harder on you. And then uh. like this is her story becoming the world famous Kim Kardashian, the lawyer. Yeah, and like that'd be she, great. And her background story is yeah. So my teacher didn't know who I was. <laughs> t- that could happen like yeah. you got like the the old law professor like uh-huh. doesn't have any clues like don't know card- don't care yeah. you, like i remember your dad from the oj trial uh-huh. what if they right. even- what if they don't even know that they're like that was um, who that was right the dad was from yeah the, yeah. Okay. yeah yeah i was like robert did, kardashian like, yeah. i'm old enough to remember that but like i was like off the top of my head <laughs> i screw that up that was robert no, that was robert kardashian yeah. yes sir okay if the glove don't fit, you must quit. <laughs> that wasn't his. That was Johnny Cochran's Chick line, Cochran, but maybe yeah, they came yeah. up with it together. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.